<laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, the cat sea snake, I guess. All right, so so far, not knowing Cat C to play Snake too much, but who knows? This might be able to work decently well with um, versus Greninja, but we'll see. This is a bit of uncharted territory for me. So far, not so much throwing around. I think Cat C's doing a decent amount um, controlling space. I think there's a different. I think there's different kinds of archetypes of players. And being that Cat C mains a sword character, I think covering space is just something he's good at because you have to do that a lot with swordies. And I think Snake is actually pretty good at covering space. So I think the transfer is there on a theoretical level. And so far, Cat. Even though I say that, Cat C is definitely still down a little bit, but. Yats definitely having to do a lot of approaching, and Katsy just barely pulling out ahead right now. Ooh, we're seeing that shadow sneak, but it came out on a platform. I didn't know that could be a thing. I feel like we're definitely going to see a pretty long match here, but... Ooh, Katsy trapping, trapping Mackin pretty well. Snake not too shabby. Really not a character I see him play a lot, but I do like what I'm seeing. It doesn't look to me like Yats able to find much of an answer. That was a really good up air attempt, but so far it's looking like... Looking like Katsy's dead. Really good platform coverage by Yat, and... You know, I say he might not have the answer, but honestly... It might be it. Yat might be figuring this out slowly but surely. All right, um, Yat catching him in the middle of a grenade pool, really good, but ooh, trying to cover a roll or maybe a jump in, not quite working out, and Yat still decently hard in in the deficit. Oh, that was a really good move by Yat, and a really good grab by Yat as well. He took out the Cypher, excellent play by Yat. Yat definitely showing off what he can do in this matchup. Yeah, doing well, but Katsy doing well, doing well in turn. Both players are basically even right now. Snake doing that <laughs> ludicrous amount of damage. Yeah, it's already behind. Not anymore right now, but looking like a few missed inputs coming from Katsy, and this could be it. Yeah, keeping him off stage. This could be a rough position for Katsy. Taking a, even if he makes it back now, he's taking a lot of damage from it. Ooh. Yeah, Yat not letting him land. I think this is a pretty good scenario for Cat C. Or, uh, pretty good scenario for Yat. And he caught him right at the top. Greninja having some of the highest jumps in the game. Working out well. Looking a bit rough for Yat initially, but he really came and got that counter adaptation. So let's see. Let's see what Cat C will do. Alright, so we have the Joker coming out from Cat C. Let's see how this is going to work. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. 
I'm not sure who wins the matchup. I kind of feel like Joker does. I don't. I, I can't really think of any reason why he wouldn't. But who knows? So far, the match is looking pretty even. But Yat having a, a nice little bit of damage starting. So you see, every time Cat sees in the air, Yat's actually dashing around, and I think he's trying to either catch his landing with a dash attack or an up smash. But he's doing a really good job at just chasing Cat in the corner. Force can see the double jump there, but not able to really capitalize on it. You can see the patience coming out from Jack. He's already in the percent lead, and he's really only approaching when he needs to. I think that's a good amount of discernment there. He decided to pull back there. I'm not sure why, but ultimately, I think that's just coming into his patient play, and he's really just only been going in when he can get something going. You know what, I think he had more patience there because he didn't want to potentially get punished by Joker. Probably being familiar with the matchup here. He's swinging a bit more in this stock, but so far, there hasn't been much of an answer from Cat C which way other. So, so far, Yet's gameplay is working up for him quite well. Yet catching the jump with the double up air and getting that super early kill with Shadow Sneak. This could definitely... Oh, this might even seal the... the uh, turn of the match, who knows? Yet not quite getting his combo, but Cat C not quite getting too much going on for himself either. Ooh, looking like he's swinging kind of at not, not much of anything, but not sure what Yet was going for there. Maybe just throwing away a stock or missing for it. But either way, he's still in a massive lead and catching him with a back air. I feel like we're gonna have to see the snake of Lucina again because this is definitely, yeah, definitely got this pretty strong. There's no doubt about that. We are, we, if Katsy is to win this though, he's gonna have to get the reverse two, the reverse 3 0. It's gonna be rough, but it's not impossible. Perhaps looking at the wrong stage. Not sure, but <laughs> game three going to Cat C. crossing stage at the end of the day but we're seeing the cloud coming out of cat C um is he dead here not quite could have died right there but um luckily making it back and so far we're having a pretty even game all right I think that there was really good because cat C noticed that uh yet was coming up with rising aerials and he was able to whip punish that. And as you can see, he was able to really get a bunch of damage off of that. 
Looking rough right here if he got that grab and four through him, that would have been it for Cat C. But so far, yet not capitalizing off of a lot of the recovery mistakes and not getting his own combo going. Highly unfortunate, and Cat C still maintaining the lead. Some crucial mistakes coming out, but Katsy has been calling out these jumps from Yat and really been getting a lot of good mileage out of him. He's definitely going to have to be a little more careful with these jumps. I don't know if playing grounded versus sorties might uh, might or might not be a good idea, but definitely switching that up might be a good idea. Not able to find too much though out of anything right now, but as I say that, Yat might try to convert into something good, but... Ooh. Interesting punish. Thought he might go for something out of shield, but went around catchy shield. <laughs> That's not as dumb. Alright, so Katsu's been landing pretty aggressively with, with aerials anytime um, Yat has been trying to charge at him, and I think that's been uh, serving him decently well. Really good shielding by um, Yat there. I thought he might have gone for the up throw, but it's interesting to see how different Greninja players play, because the one who comes to my local a lot definitely would have gone for that, but Katsu is definitely looking like he's getting the best of Yat here. He might be seeing the up throw now. Oh, you know what? Town does have the highest ceiling of the game, or at least one of the highest ceilings. So I think he was waiting there. But either way, yet yeah, getting that kill. Really good roll coverage by the projectile by Cat C. Ooh, not sure about the F smash, but he was still far away to where it didn't matter. But yet yeah, catching his landing with the dash attack and looking like he might get something started up, but getting down aired instead. Oh man, an unfortunate whiff, and yet catching, attacking on a little more damage. If he gets these, if he keeps winning these small interactions, before we know it, this game will be, this game will be even. Oh, going for the read there, but Cat C wisely getting out of there. I like how Cat C has been avoiding these back airs because getting those back airs has been a really big source of Yat getting these kills. Katsy getting a bit antsy for the kill and the percentages are starting to catch up. Yet, yet pulling ahead here. Katsy not able to find too much. Yat obviously showing a lot more patience here. I think I think the biggest weakness of what Katsy's trying to do right now is he's honestly doing a lot of smash attacks. I don't think coming in and swinging is the worst thing. However, going for lagging moves and letting Yat just put on any more damage is really not that good. Really good awareness of these uppies out of shield. Yat has not really gotten hit by any of those. Yat knowing what he needs to do here to push his advantage. Coming in! Oh my goodness, the worst way to end, and the 3-0 coming from Yat. Very smartly played by Yat, and Yat will be moving on to winner semifinals.